What's going on, Sheepdog? Stress here, 221B Tactical. Today, we're gonna to talk about the differences between level three body armor and level four body armor. Probably the most common questions we get here at 221B Tactical is what is the difference between level three and level four armor? Of course, there's level 3A armor, which we also offer. Level 3A is rated for handgun rounds, and according to the FBI, the greatest number of uh, weapons related incidents occur for law enforcement and civilian occur not with rifles uh, but with handguns however there's been as of late a large number of people who have a serious interest in getting hard plates level 3a soft flexible armor once you get to level 3 and level 4 you're talking about more solid hard plates so I'm gonna start off with the level three and tell you what the difference is and when you go to the level four. So, first of all, although you obviously can't tell in this video, the level four plate is going to be quite a bit heavier than the level three plate. Now, as of late, as technology advances, you're going to see the level four plates getting lighter and lighter. However, but that technology also carries over to the level three. So, you're gonna see the level three plates getting lighter. These plates have dropped in weight considerably uh, since they started gaining more popularity. And a lot of companies are innovating uh, every year, every few months it seems like, to make these plates lighter and stronger. So, but right out of the gate, you could be pretty guaranteed that the level four plate is going to be a little bit heavier than the level three plate. So one thing to consider is weight. Now, the next thing to consider, and by the way, these are composite plates. We're not talking about steel plates here. A lot of people have their pros and cons about steel plates. I'm gonna do a separate video about comparing uh, steel armor plates to composite armor plates. But you'll see that these are about three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. So they're gonna be a little bit thicker than your traditional steel armor plates. Now, weight is one thing. The other big factor that a lot of people talk about is price level four plates are gonna be a bit pricier than level three plates. You can expect to pay 100, 150, sometimes uh, more for a level four plate than a level three plate. So once again, with level four, if you're going up to level four protection, expect to pay more money and have a heavier weight. So that obviously come, there comes with the price for the level more higher level of protection. Now, when you talk about the level three plate, a lot of people say, what will it stop and what level protection? Wow, this plate is incredibly light. Um, what is it going to stop? So what I say to people is for, and a lot of these people are lay persons that they're just kind of getting into the realm. Of course, people who are in the police and military background, they know all about this. They wore it, whether during their service or their time serving, so they know the differences. But for the average, for the common person who's just now exploring body armor, may not know the differences, this video is for you, and those are the people who are really reaching out to us and asking the questions. So I'm gonna start with level three plates. Level three plates offer you protection against you, your 7.62 uh, and 5.56 bullets. So 5.56 bullets, 2.23 bullets. Just so you know, those are the bullets that are commonly shot out of the AR-15 rifles that you probably hear so much about in the news and things like that. So you have the ability to get the protection from these common, what they call FMJ, full metal jacket rounds here with the level three plate. Now, if you're looking to get protection from higher caliber rounds, heavier bullet, heavier grain, faster velocity, 30 cal, uh, armor piercing bullets, you gotta go to this heavy, wow, can't even believe the difference in weight here. Uh, it, you gotta go to these slightly heavier, more expensive level four plates. They're gonna give you the protection against those bullets. Now, typically level four plates are reserved for military soldiers. When you see even police officers on the news, you see the FBI during their raids, whatever it may be, you're gonna see them wearing plate carriers and their plate carriers are more than likely gonna have level three plates inside of them. When you see soldiers over in the sandbox wearing their full kit, more than likely they are wearing level four plates front and back. It's gonna take you to the next thing. When you're buying plates, you're most likely gonna want front and rear protection. So you're gonna now double the weight of whatever this is for this level four plate. You're gonna now double the weight because you're gonna wear this front 
and back. So you're thinking, what's the weight of the plate? Now times it by two and add that to your body. Walking around with that weight, that added weight to your body can get tiring. So be mindful of that. The weight savings you have here with the level three plate front and rear might feel a lot better on you after an extended period of time. And then of course, also double the price. So you're gonna want front and rear protection, so you're gonna double the price of whatever you're buying. So if you're buying a $400 plate, you gotta know right out of the gate, you're spending $800 on plates. Whereas if you're maybe buying a $250 plate, you may be at 500 for two plates. So something to consider when you're looking at level three and level four plates for your plate carrier. We offer a bunch of plate carriers at great affordable prices, but remember not only the plate carrier, but not one, but two plates front and rear. And then of course other accessories that you might wanna get for those plates. So there you have it, a really quick rundown and a really quick overview of the differences between level three and level four hard armor plates. Of course, if you have any additional questions, our team is available 24 seven at 221B Tactical to answer your questions. You can email them at sales at 221BTactical.com or you could of course give us a call. And if you're interested in bulk purchases, of course, give us a call because we do offer bulk agency pricing for large orders, people looking for a boatload of plate carriers and a boatload of plates. We know that can get pricey, so we do offer that to you as well. As always, thank you for watching. Remember, always watch their hands, watch your six, and get home safe. We'll see you next time.